Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is McKenna. I am a bridal makeup artist. In today's video, we are going to be doing the long-awaited bridal makeup kit tour um, for 2022. I try to do one of these every year. Um, I've been saying I'm gonna film this video for a very long time, I know, but we are finally filming it. Um, I ended up reorganizing my kit and condensing a lot of my products into smaller packaging. So I'm now able to fit everything in one case. Um, there's a couple little things that are outside of the case and then obviously my lighting is separate. But for the most part, all of my makeup and disposables and all of that are in here. And then I have my brushes separate as well. So I guess it's not like everything's in one. But I used to carry like two of these things. So this is very good for me. And I'm very happy with the way things are. Very rarely am I fully satisfied with my kit, but right now I'm very happy with it. I feel I feel good, I feel organized, and um, I feel like I have everything that I need. And um, yeah, so if you wanna see what's in my kit for 2022 and kind of see some of my favorite products and all of that, then just keep watching. All of like the key things that I mentioned will be linked down below if you're interested. Um, obviously not every little thing that I mentioned, but like the key items will be linked down below. Okay, so this is the case that I use. I got this on Amazon if you're interested. I will link it down below. I ended up getting this on um, Amazon Prime Day, so I got it for, I think it was like 20% off. Um, this is the extra large Rella Bell case. So this isn't like the large, this is the extra large. So it's very deep as you can see and you can fit a lot of makeup in here. Um, a lot of makeup artists I know use this case and love it and um, yeah, I really, I really, really do enjoy this case. And what's great is it's not going to break the bank. So if you go through these like once a year or once every two years, it's really not a big deal because you know you can um, repurchase them. I think I think I got it for like $58 or something like that. So let's start off with what's in the top of the case. So this is how everything is organized in here. There is a lot of stuff in here. Um, this top section holds a lot of things. It holds a lot of palettes and miscellaneous items. So let's go through what is in each part. Okay, so starting with this section here, um, in this top zipper, I keep all of these little eye patches. These you can put underneath the eye when you're doing makeup on a client. They're just like hydrating eye patches. They're basically what like lash techs use when you're getting eyelash extensions. They have like a gel back to them and they're supposed to help with like fine lines and dark circles. Um, more than anything, they just feel good when your client is getting the makeup done. And it's just like a nice little treat. Um, I also have an extra scissor in here and then I have the, um, I don't even know what you call these things, but like the little black thing that goes in your eyelash curlers. I have some backups of those. So those go in here. And then in this little baggie, I have um, facial pads. Um, these ones slip on your fingers and you can use this when you apply toner or micellar water or anything like that. In here, I have facial sponges. Um, or powdered puffs, I guess you can call them. They just slip on the fingers. And I love these ones, they're like little triangles. I get them on Amazon, they're perfect for underneath the eyes. And I am so in love with using these to set the face. They really are a game changer. Um, not just setting underneath the eyes, but all over the face. It gives such an airbrush finish. So I have about six of them in here. Okay, now moving on to the palette section over here. This is where I keep most of my palettes. Pretty much all of my palettes actually. First we have the NARS blush palettes. This just has like a nice range of shades so I like to keep this in my kit. And it's nice and compact so we have that. Um, I'm gonna go back to this palette. First I wanna share my main eyeshadow palettes which are these two. By the way, if you saw my condensing my kit vlog, um, you would have seen me depot a lot of this stuff and put it in these palettes. If you're interested in watching that vlog and see how I use the Z Potter, I will link it down below. I'll also put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, I basically went through all my shadows and put everything in these two palettes. Um, so first we have this palette here. It's labeled as Shimmer. 
And in here we have all of my shimmers, so all of my lid shades. We have some brow bone highlights here that are more like satin finishes, but everything else is shimmers. We have Cosette, we have MAC, we have um, ColourPop, just a variety of different shades. So that's that palette. And then in here we carry um, all of our matte eyeshadows. It says that right here. Um, this isn't dirty by the way, it's just stained. Just an FYI. Um, and yeah, in here we have all of my go-to matte shadows, browns, mostly browns, taupes, um, you know, dark browns. And then we have some gray and black shades here. So these are all matte shades and we have a variety of brands in here. So those are my two go-to palettes. I feel like I can create any type of bridal look with those. Um, next we have this palette which is labeled as mauve slash purple palettes. If there's any color that I am asked for besides neutral, it would probably be mauves and purples. So I gave mauves and purples its own little moment here in this palette. And I like having this because a lot of bridesmaid dresses are usually in the mauve or pink tone. So it's just good to have just in case. So in here we have like mauve purpley shades and a couple um, pretty like shimmery pink shades for the lid. So yeah, we have this palette just in case. It's not a palette that I'm going to reach for all the time, but at least we have it. And then in case anyone really is asking for some color, um, I have these two little Huda palettes. Um, these are nice because they're super small and compact, and they're just good to have just in case. So I have this Sapphire Obsessions palette, which has a nice blue-green theme to it. And then this is the Ruby Obsessions, which has some, like, you know, basically ruby colors. So yeah, we have those two palettes just in case. And then the last palette we have over here is my go-to face palette. Um, and in here I carry my most used powder shades, um, bronzer shades, and I have two blushes as well. So over here we have four of my most used colors in my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder, which is my current favorite powder at the moment. Um, we have Benefit Cookie Highlighter, we have two Tarte Bronzers, we have um, two blushes, like a pink and a peachy color, and then we have two MAC highlighters for underneath the eyes. So this is my go-to palette, I can use this on a variety of my clients, and it's just really nice to have everything all in one space. So. That is my go-to face palette. Moving on, we have a couple single items here that don't really have a home inside here, so I just put them up here. Um, we have this Hourglass Mini Bronzer. I actually like to use this on the eyes. This is the Ambient Luminous Bronze Light. The reason why I like to use this on the eyes is it just gives a nice blend to the eyes. Like, if you use this at the very end, it has a nice, like, reflective, um formula so it kind of makes everything look nice and smooth and blended um, if your eyeshadow is looking patchy just add a little bit of this and I feel like it just blends everything out so I really like this um, and then I have this Milani blush in Luminoso <gasps> no! wow that was that was close that was close guys anyways we have this blush in Luminoso and then I have Mac dainty which is another go-to blush for me and my brides um, so yeah, those go over here. Moving on, we have mascara, nothing special, mascara, eyelash curler, and two things of lash glue in this little mesh baggie. We have, um, my eyelashes go in here, and, um, in here we just have a variety of different styles of eyelashes. Um, I switch out the styles all the time, and I also have a scissor to cut my lashes and then I have two in here two lash applicators so I can use these to apply the fake eyelashes I have a sharpener over here and then again like I said we have the lashes um, in here so that's how I carry my fake eyelashes and depending on the client I kind of switch out what I need for that day um, if I need more dramatic lashes I'll put more dramatic lashes in here you get the point um, in here, this is not something I reach for that often anymore, but I like to have it just in case. So I have a bunch of shades of the Benefit Give Me Brow. They actually sent these to me, so I like to just have them just in case. Like I said, I have like 
a bunch of the different shades. This is good for people that want a very natural brow, so you can just use this on its own without a pencil or anything like that. It will still give a little bit of color and fill them in a little bit without it being too much. And then I also have the Got To Be Glued Hair Gel. Um, I use this as a stronghold brow set, brow setter. Um, instead of using an actual brow gel, if I have someone with very stubborn brow hairs that don't seem to really stay in place, I'll use a little bit of this. It's very, very good. Um, next we have my disposables in here. Pretty self-explanatory. We have some um, mini mascara disposables. These are my new favorite. I really prefer the minis over the regular mascara ones. We have... Um, Actually, let me show you this little guy. So this is like a little comb for your eyelashes. So if someone has some clumps in their eyelashes, um, this can comb them out. It has like a bunch of little teeth. You also can use this to comb through the brow hairs. Again, if you have someone with really stubborn brow hair. So I have this in here. I also have some of these clips that don't leave any indents in the hair if you want the hair out of the way. And I have a tweezer in here. We have lip gloss ones and then some Q-tips. And then over here, I keep my glitters, um, or at least most of my glitters. So I have a gold glitter, I have like a white glitter, and then I have two MAC glitters in these little like travel size um, containers. Um, and then over here, I have this pouch. Actually, one of my subscribers sent this to me. Um, if I could remember her name, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, she makes these little bags. So cute. Um, in here we have my pigments, so my loose pigments. So we have a couple dose of colors pigments, we have some Makeup Forever, a couple MAC, and um, also a NYX pigment as well. So he's, these are just some pigments that I have in my kit. And lastly, we have my eye bases. So in here we carry a couple different eye bases. Um, I like variety, I like options, so we have MAC paint pots. These are really good for people that have oily eyelids. I feel like these last all day. Um, so I have soft ochre, painterly, and um, I also have groundwork, which is a nice like taupey brown, which you can use that all over the lid if you want like a brown smoky eye. Um, and then we also have two P. Louise bases, which are classics. Um, I have a Tarte Shape Tape, a mini Tarte Shape Tape in there because that's always a good eyeshadow base. I have an Urban Decay Eden Primer which is good for someone that's really oily. And then I have these two Danessa Myricks um, Color Fix pigments as well. You can use these on the eyes, lips, or cheeks. Okay, over here we have just some individual lashes. I like to have these just in case. They're good to have on hand. For clients that want a very natural lash, I also have these, which are cluster lashes, which are also really good to have on hand. And then I have my Anastasia Brow Book, um, because this has literally all the brow shades you would need, so I like to always make sure I have this on me, just in case I have a client that maybe has, like, I don't know, a unique brow color. At least I know I have something for most brow colors. And then in here we have a little set of Alcone sponges. These are just good to have in case I forget my sponges or um, if I want something to apply skincare with, you can use um, this to apply skincare, foundation, whatever. So I keep those in there. So that is the, what is in this top section. Now let's move on to the good stuff. All right, so we had the kit open. This is like where all the magic happens. So I think I'm actually gonna start with the inside and then we'll work our way to here. Um, so starting off in this section right here, this is where I keep a variety of things. So starting off in this section at the top because this unfortunately doesn't have a home where it fits nicely in here because we are jammed packed in here. Um, this is my Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. This is a translucent setting powder. It says it's waterproof, so this is good to kind of use at the end of the makeup application to really set and seal everything in. So we have that. I'm just going to put this over here for now. Um, then we have my loose powders. Um, so my most used powder would probably be the Huda Beauty um, Sugar Cookie, which is the top here. Then we have Ben Nye Fair, which is a nice brightening powder, Ben Nye Banana, and Ben Nye Camel, which is good for deeper skin tones. 
Um, I really love the Ben Nye powders, and they're to me they're similar to the Huda powders. But um, yeah, so this is my loose powder stack, and then next to that we have the Sanessa Myricks uh, Dewy Wet Balm. This is like a highlighter. And then I have my two Dior palettes, my contour palette and my highlight palette. Without taking things out, I have a bronzer over here. I have another loose setting powder by Nanessa Myricks. It's a super finely milled powder, so it's good for mature skin because it's not heavy. And then I have three of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powders. These are three deeper shades, Deep, Mocha, and Rich. And then over here we have basically liquid eyeshadows, liquid glitters. So we have um, Elf in here, Stila, um, Too Faced, a uh, couple drugstore ones. Um, and then down here we have our Inglot number 77 liner and Inglot Duraline. And then moving on to this section here, we have skincare, this little section right here. So in here we have the Mayron Skin Prep Pro, which is really good for oily skin. We have this moisturizer by Perlice, which is a moisturizer and primer in one. We have MAC Strobe Cream. We have, um, I'm trying to keep this all organized as I go through. I have these three little guys. I have rose hip oil for my really dry clients. I have micellar water, but the mattifying one for my oily girls. And then I have Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. In here we have another moisturizer, which is the MAC uh, Studio Moisture Moisturizer. This is good for normal to dry skin. Um, and then if you're wondering what I use for oily skin, I either use this guy, because this is for oily combination and normal skin, um, or I will just cleanse the skin and then I'll just go in with MAC Strobe Cream, because this is a very lightweight moisturizer. Um, it adds a little bit of glow because it has that shimmer in it, but um, it's not going to be super heavy on the skin. I find it absorbs very nicely. We have eye cream. We have... The, um, we have this as like my lip balm. This is the Makeup Forever HD Lip Booster. So it's basically like a lip serum. Um, we have the hydrating facial spray in here in this little travel size bottle. And then we have the MAC, um, eye, then we have the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. Sorry, we had to take a little intermission because my next client had to reschedule um, because it is literally an ice skating rink here <laughs> where I live and probably not the safest choice to be driving to get your makeup done. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so that's my skincare. I try to keep it simple. I, I do have another skincare item which I do not keep in here, which is the, the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer 2-in-1 thing. Um, I keep this standing up in my brush case because um, this does leak for whatever reason whenever I have it on its side. So that is not in here. But everything else I try to keep pretty minimal. Um, I don't like to carry like a million different things. I just carry what I know works. So, like, so I have like items for really oily skin. I have items for drier skin and in-betweens. We have the toners. Um, I have the three moisturizers, which is the strobe cream, the regular MAC Studio Moisture Cream, which is a pretty thick hydrating cream, and then this guy, um, I have eye cream, I have a lip balm, and I have the serum, the Laneige Serum, and then I have micellar water and oil, and then this facial spray. That's kind of all you need. You don't need to carry a million and one items for skincare because... You kind of should just stick with what you know and what you know works. Um, when you start experimenting with skincare, you can run into some issues. <laughs> um, next we have primers. This is my primer section. So we have a couple different primers. I did Nanessa Myricks primer. Um, this is okay. It's not like the best, but I have it, so I use it. Um, I have this uh, NYX uh, oil primer. This is good for really dry skin, um, or you can even mix this in with foundation for drier clients, and it really makes everything like super creamy and smooth. Um, we have my Heart Candy Hydrating Primer. The reason why I carry this is because it's literally a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip. In my opinion, it works the same. I don't know. So I just buy this because it's a lot cheaper and I also like how slim the packaging is. It just fits better in here. 
Um, we also have the Becca Ever Matte Primer. I have a travel size of this. Um, I can't believe Becca is going out of business or went out of business. It's crazy to me. Um, we have the Professional for people with large pores. I also have this Dr. Brandt's Primer, which the label is coming off, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I have these two for pores. And then um, I also have this little guy, which is this little breath spray by Crest because no one wants to be smelling stinky breath. So that is my little primer section. Moving on to here. So in here we have a bunch of foundations, which you can't tell because they're all on their side. Um, so I have two Arab Beauty foundations. Um, I only use these on brides or people that want like really full coverage. Um, I do not like these on their own. I like to use these when I'm layering them with something else. Um, this will really lock the makeup in and it is considered an airbrush foundation. So it is going to really last for a long time. Um, I have two shades. I have Y3 and Y7. I had other shades. I had about three other shades, but um, they kind of came damaged. So, so um, these are the only two shades that I have. Then in here, I have my Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter. I have shade 2.5 Fair. I find this is like a pretty good shade. It's pretty versatile. So yeah, I keep this shade in here. And then we have my RCMA foundation. So these are long and skinny, as you can see. They're thin, but they're pretty tall. So um, you cannot stand these up in this case. It won't zipper. So I have to keep them on their side. So that's why they're all stacked in here. And it's just easy. Like, it's not a big deal because when I do a makeup job, I just literally take them from off the side and flip them up like this or I'll even flip them upside down so I have all the shades um, like this and I just kind of work like that um, but anyways yeah these are the shades that I have of this foundation I mentioned this in my recent haul video um, I love this foundation it's so good so yeah that's where my RCMA foundations live and then we have these three guys right here. We have two Graftobian cream makeup palettes, which can be used for concealer, foundation, highlight, and contour. They're very versatile. Um, and then I have this RCMA highlight and contour palette um, that I like to keep in here as well. And they just kind of sit right there, nice in their, their little spot. Um, over, here, over here, we have two little hand palettes. Um, these are good for basically anything, you know, you can just pop it on your hands and you can work off your hands. And I just kind of stick them on the side here. Okay, moving on, this is another foundation section, um, cream section. Um, and we keep this little guy right here because it doesn't have a home. This is the NARS Liquid Blush in Orgasm. I love this blush so much and yeah this is one of my favorite liquid blushes ever so I use that all the time um, over here back here is my foundations for like more of a matte finish the RCMA are is more of like a natural finish um, these are more of a matte finish so we have the dose of colors meet your hue foundations in here um, we have five shades of that and that's a very nice matte foundation. And then we have my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundations. We have four shades of that. The reason why I carry L'Oreal in here, I'm not ashamed to say that I have some drugstore foundations. Well, actually, that's the only drugstore foundation I have in my kit. But it works so well for oily skin. I have combination skin, and this foundation really lasts on me. And I don't care that it's drugstore. It works better than some high-end foundation. So I have four shades of that. Um, moving on, we have this blush palette in here. This just has a bunch of cream blushes, so whatever shade I would need. Um, I think you can use this on your lips, too, which is nice. And then we have another palette here. Um, this is my View Set palette. I depotted my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick foundation. So we have a couple shades of that. This is a really good foundation as well. And then we have a color corrector down here. Again, this brand of this case is called Set. It's a very, very good brand if you want to depot your makeup. Um, 
yeah, I get it on Camera Ready Cosmetics, Friends Beauty, Namies, all of that. All of those places. Next we have, this is the actual Makeup Forever Ultra HD Palettes. So these are really nice because you can actually get refillable colors for this. Um, and I use this for foundation. I've used this for foundation, but a lot of times I like to use it for highlight and contour, like cream highlight and contour. Um, so yeah, this is a really good palette to have. It has the white too, which is really nice because you can lighten up some colors. Um, so yeah, and I like how compact this palette is. Um, and then lastly, we have another palette that I depotted myself. In here we have mostly highlight and contour, but this is also, some of these are foundations as well. So up here we have RCMA um, cream products. We have a highlight, two contour colors. Then we have the Huda Tantor and Fair in here. And then these four colors here are MAC cream highlights. I mean contours, sorry, contour. Um, so we have those. And then these here, these, and then these last four are all by um, Mayron. So these are the Mayron Celeb Pro Creams. You can use these for foundation or highlight and contour. As you can see, they have a nice shine to them. So they're super, super creamy. Um, and yeah. I just have all of these which is nice that I have a variety of shades because you can mix this in with other foundations if you don't have the right shade of a liquid foundation you can mix some of this in you can use these to highlight and contour if you're wondering this is the Vuzet Tahiti uh, palette I also have a stainless steel palette on the side here and then these last set of foundations we have three of the Danessa Myricks foundations um, these are really really good for those that want really heavy-duty coverage um, and then we have my face atelier foundations so I have shade 0.5 1 6 2 8 and 7 and then I have the yellow adjuster in here if I need more of a yellow base in the foundation and then I have two um, these two are actually shimmers so you can actually they're very really liquidy, but you can apply these in with the Face Atelier foundation if you want more of like a glowy finish. You can apply this on the chest, um, another versatile product. So that's it for foundations. We have the RCMA, we have the Era Beauty, we have a bunch of cream foundations, we have all the shades we would need, we have Dose of Colors, L'Oreal, and um, the Danessa Myers and Face Atelier. So obviously I do reach for the same foundations all the time, but I like to have options in case. Moving on to back here, so this is where all of my concealers live. So we have a lot, we have six shades of the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I love these. These are amazing. For the longest time I didn't buy into the hype, but I'm glad I did because I love it. I love this foundation, these concealers. Um, we have some Tarte Shape Tapes. I have the original formula and the creamy formula. Down here you can't see, but I have some of the um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I carry these for my mature clients. This is a very, very high pigment, creamy concealer. The reason why I like using this on mature skin because it is very, very high pigment. So you only need a dot of this stuff. A little bit goes a long way. And since you only need a dot of it, um, you're applying less product to the skin, which means less cakiness and... We all know mature clients like the least amount of makeup possible because they don't want anything to settle into their lines. So I carry three shades of that. And then the rest down here are um, MAC Pro Longwear concealers. Um, I'm just trying to use these up because I have them. I know this is like an old school concealer, but honestly, it's a really good concealer. Um, it doesn't, it's not like super, super full coverage, but it has a nice medium coverage. Um, and it's just a nice thin lightweight formula. I like the packaging of it. Um, so yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five shades of this. Um, and I'm just trying to use it up. I don't want to like waste them. So I'm just trying to use them. Sometimes I will use those as eye bases as well because they are their pro long wear formula. So they last a really long time. Okay, next to here we have some more concealers. Um, so I carry a couple of the, um, 
LA Girl Pro Conceals in here because I like this as an orange corrector. This is really good for those that have dark spots or under eye circles. And then I carry a couple shades for contouring. These are like OG products for contouring. I feel like they've been around forever, but they're really nice for nose contour. So I carry shade Toast. I think I have Cool Tan in here. And then I also have this, which is the Cool Pink Corrector. This is really good to get a really nice... Um, bright under eyes. So yeah, we carry a couple of those in here. And then I carry two of the Maybelline um, Fit Me concealers. I was using these to contour for a while because I really like the shades. Coco and Cafe. So these are good for contouring, but also you could use these under the eyes if you wanted to. So yeah, basically these are just like random concealers that I use for contouring or color correcting right there. Okay, next we have my gloss and lipstick section. So in here, we have a variety of glosses. In the back here, like behind the glosses, if I can get this out, I have my lipsticks. I'm trying not to mess this all up. I have depotted lipsticks. So I have mostly MAC in here, um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, um, but yeah, a lot of these are MAC lipsticks, mostly nudes and pinks. Again, this is the Tahiti palette. Um, I probably should actually get some more lipsticks and just might as well fill up this palette. But I haven't done that yet. So over here we have three of the e.l.f. plumping glosses. If you've been a follower of mine, you know that I love these glosses. So I carry um, a couple nude shades. We have a couple tube lip glosses by ColourPop. I love these. They add a nice shine to the lips. Um, we have a bunch of the um, NYX Butter Glosses. These are OG classics. Love these. I have a couple pink shades, nude shades. We have a couple MAC lip glosses. We have Oyster Girl, which is a classic. We have Purr, I think. Yeah, this is called Purr. We have All Things Magical, which is a nice, like, pinky shade. Um, so those are by MAC. We have a couple Lorac, like, random glosses in here. We also have White Russian by Buxom, which is a classic. I have the mini version. Um, Hot Toddy, which is another Buxom one. So, yeah, those are some of my glosses. Moving on to over here, we have Liquid Lipsticks. Um, so we have Anastasia Pure Hollywood. Is this Pure Hollywood? No, this is Naked. We have that, which is a nice nude. We have a couple um, ColourPop colors. We have a variety of those. Um, and then back here, you can't see because they're shorter, but I have my favorite Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. So we have Bear With Me, we have Stone, we have Truffle. Um, those are my go-to dose of colors liquid lipsticks. All right, so we went through this whole part. Now let's go through the pouches here. So I know I have a lot of lip liners. I like choices, and yes, they all are variations of basically pinks and nudes, but I like options. So we have, I'm not going to go through all of them, but we have some LA Girl lip liners. We have some Essence. We have some NYX lip liners, we have Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk, and what is this one called? I forget. This is the um, like brownish one. Uh, we have some Makeup Forever, we have MAC Strip Down, which is a classic. Over here we have some of my favorite Morphe lip liners. We have Sugar Pie, Honeymoon, Sweetheart. We have two ColourPop lip liners, which are great. Super creamy lip liners, but I also, I, I love Morphe lip liners. They are some of my favorites. They've replaced my love for NYX lip liners because Morphe are just a little bit more creamy. Um, we have two Dose of Colors lip liners, and then over here we actually have e.l.f. This e.l.f. liquid lipstick in the shade Praline, which I actually like to use as a lip liner. So I use this with a small lip brush and line the lips with this. Um, yes, you can use liquid lipsticks as lip liners, which is kind of nice. Um, over here we have some liquid liners, um, which honestly I don't really use that much because I use my Inglot liner all the time. Um, we have Fenty Beauty. Um, this is like a waterline eyeliner. 
Over here we have a couple shadow sticks. So we have like a bronzy shade, a champagne, and then we have this one by Jouer, which I love. Um, this is in the shade Baroque. Um, these are really nice for all over the lid. Um, you can use these on the lower lash line. Like I like this since it's kind of a bronzy shade like on the lower lash line with those that have like blue or green eyes. Um, and the formula is like super creamy. We have Benefit's High Brow, which I actually don't use this for underneath the brow. I use it in the waterline. It's a nice pink, like, cream shade. So this really opens up the eyes when you put this in the waterline. Over here we have a couple brow pencils. Um, you really don't need, like, a ton of brow pencils, especially if you have a palette like the Anastasia Brow Palette, which I saw, which I showed you guys earlier. You just need the basics. Um, I have, like, a taupe. I have a brunette. I have... Like a darker shade um yeah so those are my eyebrow pencils um i love the shade 4.5 and i think 3.5 by benefit those are really good um but yeah then we have my bread of benefit 24 hour brow setter this is like the best brow gel ever um Moving on to over here, we have two NYX Jumbo Pencils. I really like these. These are nice for, again, all over the lid, in the waterline. I, I use these for a variety of things. Um, over here, we have my waterline pencils. So we have white, we have black, we have brown. We have these two, by which I love. These are the Shockwave Eyeliners by LA Girl. They are so creamy and so easy to use. This is the shade Brown Sugar and then Lullaby. Lullaby is really nice in the waterline. And then um, Brown Sugar is a nice, like, deep, bronzy brown. Um, and they're so creamy. So we have those. Over here we have four Makeup Forever Color Artist pencils. Oh my god, I love these, you guys. Um, these are amazing. They are used, you can use these for whatever you want. You can use them for your lips, eyes, whatever. Um, so I can use these brown shades in the waterline if I want to. I can even use this burgundy shade. Um, I have a standard black. Um, or you can use these for lip liners as well. Like, obviously you're not using black, but you can use these shades for lip liners. Um, yeah, I just, I love these. They, they really are such a great product since they can be used for multiple things. Um, we have a couple bold liquid lipsticks just in case for those clients that want that bold lip. So we have a couple liquid lipsticks by Colourpop. And then over here we have my go-to. These are four are by Maybelline. These are the 24 hour super stay um, lipsticks. These are great for those clients that really want their lips to like last through anything. Um, so I have a couple shades of that. And is that it? So we went through all my makeup. This is the makeup that I use on my clients. Now I want to show you guys my brush case. So that's the next step. So I do keep my brushes separate from the makeup because these are like their own thing, you know? I don't want to mix these two. I don't want to squish my brushes. So I got this case on Amazon and I love it. So it zippers up like this, and then it has a pouch here, and then a pouch on each side. Um, it comes with this strap, so you can carry it on your shoulder, or it also has this thing in the back, so you can put this on your suitcase. So I carry, see this thing here, this is my red suitcase. I carry this thing inside of the suitcase, so I don't have to carry this on my shoulder, and I could just roll it around. Um, so this goes on the suitcase, like on the handle. You just slide it over, and then it just sits on top of the suitcase, so you don't have to carry anything on your shoulders. So this thing is great. Got it on Amazon. Again, um, same brand. It's the Relavelle, I think is how you pronounce it. So in here, this is where I keep all of my brushes. Um, I used to keep them in like a brush belt, then I went through keeping them in the cups, but I really love this the most out of all the ways I've carried my brushes. This right now seems to work the best for me because I just open it up, everything's standing up, um, and there's also different separators in here so you can keep the brushes separated by category. So for example, these are all of my blending brushes right here. Then back here, um, you probably can't see the separators, but there are separators in here. Back here we have eyeshadow brushes, um, 
and just random eye brushes. Over here we have like highlight brushes, powder brushes, um, blush brushes, foundation brushes. My favorite brushes right now are from the brand Peaches and Cream. Um, if you saw my makeup haul, you would have saw me literally rave about these brushes. In this front pouch here, I keep alcohol spray. That's super important to have alcohol on hand at all times. So you can literally spray your whole kit. You can spray your palettes. Um, I'm literally spraying this all the time when I do makeup. Um, and then I have the big bottle of the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, this is really nice because it's a multi-use spray. You can use it for priming, correcting, setting. Um, so you can literally spray this throughout the whole makeup routine and it's not going to affect the makeup. It's just going to help prolong the wear of the makeup and, um, I just like it because it's not just a setting spray. You can set that, you can spray this before you even put makeup on the face. And I do find that it does make the makeup last. On the side patch, pouch here, I have two little mini spray bottles. In this spray bottle, I have another setting spray. This is more of like a mattifying setting spray. And I really like these mini bottles because they actually miss really nicely. Um, better than like most setting sprays. So yes, I keep a little setting spray in here. I also have this Face Atelier Primer Spray. This is good to give more of a matte finish to the skin before you go in with foundation. Um, it's basically a primer but in a spray form by Face Atelier. And then I also, of course, have some Purell because you need to keep your hands clean. And then over here on this side, I have my little fan. Um, it's like the perfect size, this pocket for this fan. It's, they call these like mini air conditioners. I don't know why. It literally says air conditioning fan. Um, mini air conditioning fan. But yeah, it's basically just a fan. So I use this to, to um, dry the face after I spray the setting spray or to dry my eyelashes. And then I also... Actually, no. That's all that's in that pouch. I thought I had something else. This is the suitcase that I use. I um, got it at TJ Maxx like two years ago. It's actually lasted so well. Like it's still in great shape. Um, it's like a carry-on size. Um, it's not like the really big size. So yeah, and I like the fact that it's hard. So I feel like everything's like super protected in here. I don't really carry much in here. The case goes on this side. My big black case goes in here. Um, and then I also carry my makeup sponges. Um, these are brand new sponges and I just keep them in a mesh pouch um, so I have some ready to go for my wedding tomorrow and then in this pouch I keep these are like for the body so we have body glow body oil in here and then um, and then I also have the Sally Hansen airbrush legs guys this is so good for the chest like if you have a client that gets red in the chest or gets hives, apply this to the chest and it will make their chest literally look flawless and it sets and it doesn't transfer. Um, they have a couple shades. I'm actually going to run to the store possibly today to go get the lightest shade they have because this is like pretty tan. Um, but yeah, so this is for the body. And then over here, um, we have this like flap here. And then in this little zipper part, I have my business cards. I have a tampon, just in case, you never know. I have um, two plastic gallon bags. Um, in here, I could throw like my dirty brushes in here or whatever I need. Um, it's just good to have in case, so. All right, the last thing I'm going to show is this bag, which is where I carry my lighting. Um, this came with my ring light, but um, yeah, so in here is where I would keep my lighting, which I'm going to show you my lighting in a second. I kind of switch up my lighting all the time, but I think I found the best setup for me. Um, but in here, I do carry a couple extra little things. I have this guy here, which I got on Amazon. It is a brush holder. And this is where I set this out when I do my makeup and this is where I put the dirty brushes as I'm doing the client. So as I take from my big brush holder um, and use the brush, once I use it, it goes in here to keep the dirty brushes separate from the clean brushes. I also keep a couple little brushes in here that I don't like to put in the big 
brush um, holder because I feel like they get lost and um, I hate looking for them in like the sea of brushes because these are tiny. So we have two eyeliner brushes and then I also have my stainless steel spatula in here. So yeah. So I really love these. Again, this is by the Releville. I might as well be sponsored by this brand. <laughs> if you want to sponsor me. Um, so this is great because it's super compact and yeah, and it zips up so it keeps your brushes protected. And then I also carry um, this guy which has an extension cord and whatever other wires I would need. So when I carry my lighting, I usually have other wires I have to carry with me. So they, that goes in this pouch. And then the last thing, actually no, we have a mirror in here, just a handheld standard mirror. We have, um, this is a disinfectant cleaner. We have makeup wipes in here. We have um, sanitizing wipes, alcohol wipes. We also have hand cream in case. We have this little thing, which I give to my brides. We have um, in here a Q-tip, oil blotting sheets. I have like a little container I can put lip gloss in, a makeup wipe. Um, here we have little dog bags. I can use these for trash. Um, so I have that. And then I also have these solid soap sheets. So if you're at a hotel and you don't want to use that gross bar of soap that everyone was, has been touching, you can use these. They're like little soap, solid soap sheets. You just get them wet and it gets, you know, all soapy. <laughs> and lastly, this is the light that I am currently using. Again, it's it changes all the time. Sometimes I feel like using my ring light. Sometimes I like to use my Glamcore light. I always go back to the Glamcore light because of how compact it is. Um, when you pack this up, you can it, it's pretty small and it's very very lightweight compared to a ring light. So you're not going to break your back carrying this around. And I just figured out how I can put my aperture light in the middle. Because the thing I didn't like about the ring light was I felt, I mean the Glamcore light, is I felt like the two light panels were missing something. Like it's nice to have these two light panels, but I felt like it needed a light in the center. So I found a way to attach my little mini aperture light. And now I have this really great super bright light. So let me turn it on so you guys can see. So what's nice about these two lightings together is they're adjustable, so you can make them cooler, um, warmer, you can adjust the lumens, you can really adjust it however you want, you can make it brighter, um, not so bright, so yeah, this is the current light setup. So that's it. So if you made it to the end of this video, I praise you because this took such a long time to film. I didn't think it was going to take that long, but it took a really long time to get through everything. Um, the only other thing I would carry with me is my camera case and my um, chair, which I don't always need because a lot of venues have higher chairs, so I don't really need my chair with me all the time, but I keep it in my car in case. Um, but yeah, it, it may seem like a lot. But the black case goes in the red case, and obviously I just roll that around, and then the brushes sit on top of the red case. So the only things that are going on my shoulders is this bag, which um, carries my light, so that goes on my shoulder, and um, my camera bag. This is my camera bag. Um, in here we have an additional lens. This is like a really zoomed in lens. Um, it takes really crisp photos as well so sometimes I like to use this instead of the lens that I'm currently using. So that goes in here. I also have this thing here which is the clip for the Glamcore light. If I wanted to put my phone on it I can. Um, like if I wanted to take a time lapse video or like a TikTok or something like that I carry those in here and then in this front pocket and then in this front pocket, I have a mini tripod. So if I want to be able to stand my camera up on something, like on a desk or something, um, this little tripod is so cute. Like you can see it's so tiny, but it, it does expand. Like the legs come out. So I like to carry that in there just in case, you know, you never know. Or it's nice too when you're taking photos and you want the, your hand to be steady if you're taking a video. 
put your camera or your phone on here, like attach it to here, so you could have more of a steady, um, you know, video or photo or whatever. So that is officially it. Thank you so much. Like I said, if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.